Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Ultimate Road to Glory series. The question is, have you been unlocking the daily foot birthday SBCs? We have. Day 4 and 3 I did off camera, so day 5 we are about to do right now. The rewards aren't that great and I don't believe that they are supposed to be. They're just going to reward you if you've unlocked all 8. Yesterday we got ourselves that consumable pack three fitness cards, three contracts, which isn't bad when we were able to use mostly silvers and bronzes. So yeah, it worked out that we made profit on those fitness cards. Jumping in though, day five, foot birthday day five, this one you are needing to uh, step it up a little bit, players from the same league maximum of six, five gold players minimum, and uh, two players that need to, needed to be silver. We could probably get away with using uh, another silver. Yeah, or even a bronze. Let's drop in a bronze from the Serie A and see if we can keep chemistry. Because I've just noticed that why give EA an extra 300 coins? We're being tight, but why give EA an extra 300 coins when we can just use a bronze card? Really? We don't have any bronzes? What about silvers? Go on, EA. Give me a silver card. Yeah, here. Can we drop in this guy in that centre mid position? I wonder if it's going to be able to keep chemistry. Yes, it does. Awesome. Right, so we'll do that. He doesn't go for my... Let me quickly check. Imagine if he's quite expensive. Someone has been saying for me to... Yeah, he's actually quite expensive. Why is he so expensive? All right, ignore that. <laughs> I'm trying to save coins and now they're, they're so expensive. What is happening? Maybe I'll just get rid of those Serie A silvers and then sell on all the other silvers at the club. Getting ready for team of the season. That is what I'll do. So we are getting six golds with six silvers and that one rare. Trust me to get the silver. It's going to be the silver. Let's see. No walkout. I'm not expecting big players. Not at all. Yeah, we got the silver. <laughs> Dahoud, though, he's he's quite good. He had a team of the season last year. Bongonda, that is incredible on Football Manager. He grows. I got him on loan when I was doing a Newcastle Football Manager. Yeah, the silver was... Um, was rare. Wow. Not great. We have been busy, guys, selling on some items from Fatal. Kind of a spoiler. Well, it is a spoiler. Unfortunately, our hopes and dreams of winning the title is over. We've been kicked out, and it's not even to do about losing. Honest to God, if I had a record of a thousand wins, a thousand losses, it wouldn't bother me. What irritates me the most is the fact that the game is always changing day to day, and I can't adapt to the slow gameplay. And credit to Bateson, I had two chances to beat him, and he won cleanly, two wins over me. And he can adapt, he plays slow, he uses that shielding, and for me, I rely on good gameplay far too much. And with me playing Bateson, that's opened up my eyes, I understand that. So what I want to do is have a plan A and a plan B. The plan A is my high agility fun side, which is the way I play. Plan B is to bring in more of those physical types that can hold on to possession and really buy me some time because of how slow the game is. And it's not a fun way to play. I understand that. But if I want to do well and really progress in the road to glory with foot champions, I'm going to have to change up my style. So losing games, just do it does help you. Seriously does help you. So with uh, the team that I put together today, we've got Emanike, who's a physical beast. And I've just uh, dropped in a few other players. And I want to really focus on the custom tactics as well. Like I said, plan A and plan B. We shall see. So with the players that we did sell on, Kante, Cater, that's good, but he's not really that good. He's good, though. He's a fun player to use. Jonjusevic, who is great. We had him a couple of episodes ago. Nine goal and that I sold on for 35,000 coins. Pirolo, with the team that I had also in Fatal, it wasn't really suited to the way I play it anyway. Pirolo is one of those that is a good centre mid. Don't get me wrong. He's a solid card. As a wide centre mid, though, Mm, he's not that good. You need someone with a little bit more pace to spread the play and act as basically a winger in the 4-1-2-1-2 as it's narrow already. So yeah, Prolo is good. I just wouldn't really play him there again. And Manolas we sold for 180,000 coins who was off chemistry. <laughs> Our team was a mess. But anyway, Manolas, all of those cards did sell. We're on 329,000 coins and I also want to get those ready for team of the season. Imagine an inform Coleman, sorry, a team of the season Coleman with just added pace, because his card already is great, but added pace, oh my. We definitely will be bringing in some nice team of the season cards. Anyway, let's go to the team, have a look at the custom tactics and see if we can start adapting our play from today. We're going to make changes, we're going to improve and we'll do it together. Let's go. So I'm not too sure if you guys were even aware this happened. Last night Twitter went mental. EA accidentally released potential upgrades and also legends come into the game. 
Ronaldo, Brazilian Ronaldo, Zinedine Zidane, Maradona, David Beckham were all added to the database and it doesn't make too much sense to me. Why would they be adding legends halfway through FIFA 17? They would realistically use those legends to sell FIFA 18 and potentially FIFA 19. So that got me thinking, are they releasing legends? And then I was playing games anyway during, uh, during the night and I checked Lacazette. He went to four star weak foot. He was four star, four star. So they were bringing out skill upgrades. And then I checked Usman Dembele. He went to five star skill moves, five star weak foot. You had Human Son that went up to four star skill moves. They were all getting upgraded. And then I came across Del Piero. And they changed Del Piero back. He had low to low work rates and three star skill moves. Originally, that's what Del Piero's card was supposed to be. But everyone was complaining and EA saw sense and they changed him because that card right there is amazing if they convert him back i'm not going to be happy but they won't convert him back because if they've made the change at the start of the game why would they correct that they've already corrected their mistake so that's where i feel that what they've done is they've applied this update the skill update to the wrong database the original database where they had all of these previous more well, legends that were already playing uh, on uh, on the game so with del piero he's going to be safe what that really does tell us though Players like Lacazette, Usman Dembele, Human Son are all getting skill upgrades. So if you want to make some coins, purchase even their non-inform items or their inform items because a Human Son would be incredible. Usman Dembele, no doubt that's going to go up in price. So after this video, I'm possibly going to pick up an Usman Dembele, a cheap inform Usman Dembele. If he gets those five star skills, he's going to be seriously expensive. So anyway, that's food for thought. If you want to make investments, go and make investments. With the team that I've put together though, like I said, we are looking for those physical beasts to hold on to the play, use the shielding, and I brought in the 84 rated throwback MMEK. 38,000 coins, used him before as non-inform and he was all right, but we're not, we're not using him to score fancy goals we're using him to score simple goals but effective ones 91 pace 82 shot 84 physical stuck on the hall chemistry style which is going to bump that up even more and he looks good dropped in sal as well with those physical stats and pace so if i'm wanting to change up the formation i use th those two up top and then i have mickey tarian playing as the cam as you see it though i will be using the 4-3-2-1 formation just to uh, just to get on with it really have a change and the custom tactics i don't want to focus too much on these I want to look at the defensive pressure because what I've noticed is when the gameplay is good and I make a mistake in the midfield, I know full well that I can position my players properly and recover. When it's poor gameplay and I have too many players up the pitch, that's where I get caught. And that's what happened against Bateson as well. So with my pressure, I want to lower that to 45, up the aggression a little bit because as it is going to be slow gameplay, my opponent's going to try and do like one twos and that's where my players can take, take it upon themselves to really step in front and regain possession. So that's what I want to test out today. No fancy goals, just solid wins. That's what we're looking for. And yeah, maybe uh, maybe this team's going to play well. So M and EK, we're going to give them a go. Let's hit up divisions and yeah, let's see what we can do. Game one, guys. And we have that Serie A triangle up top. Mertens, Dybala and Higuain. Use that shield in. Hold on to, hold on to possession. Work our way through. Skip. Sal, 1-0. All right. Maybe it's a little bit of a fluke, but that's what I'm going to look for. It's dirty. But literally play it into someone's feet and shield. You have lost connection. It's just not a good day. It's not a good day at all. And then people say, the gameplay is fine, Fuji. What are you talking about? The gameplay is obviously not right. <laughs> I've got another disconnect and I'm winning the game for Christ's sake. What is happening? So game one, game two, game 1.5. We're against the 4-3-3 attacking formation, Blaszczykowski. Oh, uh, I was about to say Werner, but that's S Vine. Yeah, it's just alright team. M and EK. Give it back to Sal. M and EK. Nice and simple. Sal. Pass. That's it. Mickey Tarian across. Let's go. 1-0 again. Early in this game. Is it gonna disconnect me? That is the question. 1-0. Come on. Benucci. Benucci with a turn. Oh, that is ridiculous. That should not be going in. 
but you know I'm gonna take it. Benucci with a goal, two 0 Come on. We are sorry, but there's an error, and I keep getting this message, and I don't know how to sort it out. So it's either EA having some serious issues or my connection right now. It's worrying. I need to get it sorted before the next weekend league. Otherwise, all these DCs are gonna stop us getting elite, and that's serious. Big header. Yes, through ball. Back to him. Finish. Oh, no. Just, oh, I can't get the shots out. Nil nil. The struggle is real. What is going on with this game? I'm not playing well. It's cool. He's only got his whole team around the ball. Yes. Yes. Oh, good lad. Through ball. That's an okay pass, to be fair, from uh, Gay. And Pogba. Sal. Still no goal. One twos. Mickey Tardian through. Come on, please. I've got to score now. <laughs> I can't score. This guy took ages to take his goal kick, pretending that he's not going to play, but he is in fact playing. Maybe he's getting nervous because I've been uh, in control. Go on, Emin Ike. Uh, he just feels so heavy to turn. Like, that's him genuinely just heavy. Pogba's going to score that though. Full time, guys, and I had so many chances in that game. I, I don't believe it. I didn't want the win. <laughs> I didn't want the win anyway. I probably wouldn't have even been given the win because of the DCs. <laughs> it's mental. Today is unreal. Last game for today, guys. I cannot take any more of this. I can't score. I can't defend. It just doesn't feel good. I'm not enjoying myself. That's the main thing. I'm not enjoying FIFA right now. And a through. Finish. Right, here we go. Let's do the technique. Over to Pogba. Outside the box. We needed that goal. We needed that goal desperately, man. MNEK, I don't really... Well, I can't do much with him for some reason. When I have chances, he just doesn't want to put it in. This guy that we're playing right now seems to enjoy low pressure, containing. He's not even going in for the challenges, but FIFA 17 is allowing him to play that style. Go, 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 go. Through ball. That's it. Now we've caught him. Pass. Simple, finish, lovely goal. 2-0. I know it's a pass across. I'm taking everything I can get right now. That's it. Oh, yes. Please, Sal. Oh, dear. Oh. The problem is working it past this guy that isn't tackling. So I've got time on the ball. Look at this. L look at this. I, I... Go on, burst, burst, M and EK. Oh my god. I've caught him out. He was he was just literally sitting there, not tackling, allowing the CPU to do all the work. And I thought, right, let's get a quick burst to <laughs> And I've done him. But I can hit the post again with M and EK. That's it, Coleman. Coleman is solid. That's one player that I know is a great defender, and I've completely stacked it there. Quick, can we play a pass? Back heel. MNEK through. It's gone to Sal again. It's alright. I'll cut back. MNEK's inside the box. You've got to score that. Finish. Scrappy, scrappy goal. Towards the end of the game right there, he did in fact give up. He was doing kicky ups in the corner. So yeah, 4-1 win. Uh, we scored some goals. Finally, we scored some nice goals. So right now, guys, we are going through a slightly bad patch on FIFA. And it's a concern of mine because I'm not sure what's going wrong. I know myself that I'm not playing to how I usually play. Is it just an off day? Is it custom tactics, the team, player instructions? What is happening? I know that my connection must be a little off. If I'm going into games and I can't reconnect back to ultimate team, it could be a fault my end or it could be a fault EA's end. Have you been having that? If you have, then I know that that's not the issue. I'm not losing connection on my main PC and anything like that. So is it my connection? Is it the way I'm playing? It's something where I'm going to have to go back to my main weekend league side and learn how to play again. It keeps happening. It's like I forget how to play day in, day out. Remember a couple of weeks ago when we hit 37 wins in the weekend league and I broke through and was defending really well, like dropping players back into the correct positions marking the passing lanes and now for whatever reason i've gone like 
two steps back again and it's it's frustrating it really really is i thought i was making progress and now i've gone back one maybe it's just an off day but i'm pleased that i i don't want to play any more today i'm absolutely done with the game and m and ek he was hitting the post a lot like everybody it just was off but m and ek he was hitting the post a little bit and he just is a bit of a slug on the ball you can't turn him Oh, anyway, the stress is over. Let me know how you guys are getting on and give me some uh, some advice. Maybe it is my connection. I'm going to have to sort it out. But thanks ever so much for watching. Drop a like on the video and I will see you for the next one. We've got, well, we have SBCs. We'll have uh, Foot Champions run. Oh, no. Weekly packs. Yeah, we'll have the Foot Champions rewards to look forward to. Nice. Take it easy, guys. Team out. Peace.